my beautiful MK Love fam. Welcome back to another journal reading. I am so excited that you are here. We, oh my gosh, there's been so much that has been happening. I can't even talk, that's how excited I am. For the past two weeks, I haven't uploaded videos, so I thought I'd give you a quick explanation. If you don't follow me on Insta Stories or Instagram, which I highly recommend you do, because that's kind of where I do the behind the scenes and give you all my real time updates. Make sure you follow me at Melanie Kate Love over there. Anyway, so I've been working super hard on creating the Forgiveness Heals Guided Visualization, which is now live on my MK Love shop. So there's a link in the description if you would love to purchase that. I highly recommend you do because it's actually at a discounted rate. It is usually $9.99. And it's actually discounted to $5.55. Why? Because, you know, I want to reward those beautiful souls that support me first. And then I'm going to be raising the price from December 1st. Another fabulous announcement is that I am now offering private spiritual readings at a discounted rate of 33% off. Why? It's all a part of my annual sale, which is the biggest sale that I have all year. I basically discounted it to that rate because I just wanted to say a massive thank you, thank you, thank you. I launched my business this year, which was a big deal. It took a lot of me to get out of my own way and to not listen to fear, and I did it. And to say thank you to each and every one of you who have literally been supporting me over the last three and a half years, that is why I discounted it to 33. So readings are usually 99 Australian dollars. They are currently, uh, no, they're not $30, $66.33. Now that is only until Monday. So I hope that you're watching this early. If you're not, then email me and then I'll send you through a code if you're super desperate. Um, because, you know, I would love to read for you. The reason why I do that is to give you clarity on the situations that you are struggling to hear. And I have read for some beautiful souls, one of them being Sandy Lynn, who is a New York Times best-selling author. You can check all my reviews over on my website, but let's get cracking on to today's reading. Are you ready? So we're reading for the, I'm so excited and I'm like, no, 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 what's happening today? The energies, I don't know what's been going on this week, but energies have been off the hook. So I'm reading for the full moon in Gemini, which is on December 3rd or 4th, depending on where you are in the world. So let's get on to the cards. So this is the angel Derek, a uh, Derek. <laughs> What the flip? The angel oracle from Darian Virtue. So let's just tap them three times. Angels, can we have clarity from my beautiful MK Love fam? This is just a general reading. One card. And there we go. Notice the signs. Okay, so the angels saying that they're trying to get your attention either by like a song on the radio, um, feathers on the ground, Dogs has been, and actually a lot of animals has been my thing this week. When I was at the beach this morning, this beautiful white dog, this fluffiest dog I've ever seen. <laughs> it reminds me of that um, video, I can't remember what it's called, video, movie, when it goes, it's so fluffy! I was just like, it was literally like a white guardian angel just came to me, it was so beautiful. So it could be like songs on the radio, um, a text message, like you're thinking of something, someone, and then all of a sudden you get a message. Um, oh, there's so many different things. Money on the ground. If you feel like something is a sign, then it usually is. So it says, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and you are never alone. Oh, that's so beautiful. Right, let's get some clarity, shall we? I feel like a jitterbug today. Which is crazy because this morning I was like rebranding my Instagram. I don't, if you've been following me on Instagram, you notice I've got like four posts at the moment. I deleted everything because I'm rebranding to how my website looks. Um, and I was kind of like, uh, like I, before I knew it, it was like five hours had passed. And I was like, holy flip, I've got to film this reading before Peter comes home. And then I started listening to my MK Love Fam high vibrational playlist on Spotify. Oh, so good. Um, and then it just pumped me up again. Um, I was listening to Rise from Katy Perry and listening to, um, what's her name? Jessie J's new song, Queen. I am a goddess. 
I am a queen. Oh my god. I love that song. Anyways, so I don't know what's happened to me all of a sudden. I just got like this kind of energy. So, sorry guys. Angels, clarity please. Oh, notice the signs for the full moon in Gemini for my beautiful MK Love fan. I am a goddess. I am a queen. Heart chakra. Ooh, matters of the heart. So some of you may have blockages in your heart that the angels are saying that you need to release and surrender and set yourself free. It could also be that you need to see things through the eyes of love. Let me read what it says. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. And then I heard that song from Moulin Rouge. All you need is love. Um, all you need is love. Love is just a game. No, it's not a game. Well, that's bad self-talk. I don't know why I heard that song. <sighs> so interesting. Hey, like when you become conscious and you actually listen to lyrics, it's like, <gasps> I can't listen to that song anymore. I wonder what this means for some of you. Some of you may be struggling in a relationship. I know a lot of you email me and say that you're in some pretty toxic situations and it just breaks my heart. See only love, love heals all blockages. I've actually made a um, heart chakra guided meditation or and visualization um, on my YouTube channel. So you can find that under the chakra playlists. Okay, matters of the heart, hey? S wonder what signs you've been seeing in regards to that. Okay, we're gonna move on now to um, Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue, just to see where your blockages are and how we can overcome them during this period. Funny, I said that heart chakra because now I have a pain in my chest. So some, a lot of you do have blockages in your heart. It also boils down to self-love too. I am a goddess, I am a queen, I love my body, I love my skin, I am. Okay, I'll stop singing. Ooh, a second opinion. What comes up when you see that? I see lots of blue, which also means a heart chakra again. a massive flow of water you're in mother nature there's an owl so many birds one two three four five a fairy i read what it says it says dear dear god and archangel raphael guide me to the best healthcare professionals for the situation what are some of you going through? I love my body. I'm gonna read this one because I'm not getting too much. And maybe because I'm too hypo. Hyper? Hypo? I love my body. I love my skin. I love my body. Where is this? Oh, here it is. Couldn't find it for a second. Archangel Raphael has heard your prayers and is guiding you to talk with your health professionals to get a second, third, or even fourth opinion. The Archangel is letting you know that your options and alternatives are available to you or the person that you are inquiring about. The situation may require more than one health professional working in conjunction with each other. So it isn't necessary an indication to change doors, the doctors, unless you've already been receiving that message from your own intuition and your experiences. This card validates your urge to take matters into your own hand, become your own authority figure with respect to your health concerns. Oh, my heart is hurting. Possible meanings. Select a healthcare professional you feel comfortable 
and instinctively trust. Research your health topics, get more matters and take more matters into your own hands. All I'm hearing is that like you are your own intuitive healer. You are the only one that knows your body the best and you know when things are going wrong. And if you have illness and disease within your body, I highly recommend you type into Google A to Z metaphysics guide Louise L. Hay. It's in the back of Louise L. Hay's book, um, You Can Heal Your Life. She has an A to Z index for um, diagnosing um, issues within the body. and. I have a pain in my chest at the moment, so if I was to look at that, do I have the internet on over here? No, I don't, damn it. Um, yeah, I would look um, under H for heart and see what it says to do with that. Um, but you guys have blockages in, well, not all of you, because this is a general reading, it's hard to say. There's a blockage in your heart, either self-love for yourself, love for other people, or you're not seeing the situation with love. And it's actually causing illness and disease within your body. It, um, depending how long it's been there, it could actually be making you feel sad. And that the angels are saying, it's like, you know, you're not going crazy. You can heal this matter through the power of love. There are so many ways that I can help you with that. I have my release blockages playlists on YouTube, chakra healing guided visualization. Um, I also have um, my self-love starter kit. All these links are in the description. If you need a private spiritual reading so I can identify exactly what specifically this blockage is, then I can totally help you. But the angels are saying like, look within first, because it's like you are your own healer. And I feel like some of us dismiss that and we're like, oh, if I'm sick, I need to go to a doctor. It's like, I believe that doctors have their place absolutely but you have all the answers deep within your soul to help you let's get more clarity to see what else is coming up craziness okay angels clarity on notice the signs heart chakra and second opinion for full moon in gemini isn't that crazy that i heard that song I love my body, I love my skin, I am a goddess, I am a queen, which is like the affirmations of love and self-empowerment, and that has been stuck in my head. But in saying that, I was listening to, it was in the playlist, the anthems playlist before I started reading, but it just won't go out of my head. Okay. Ah, we got it again. Change physicians. Second opinion, which is the same thing. Okay, so what you're doing right now isn't working. Okay. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for leading me to the best healer for this situation. The best way to find someone is to literally ask the universe and trust that they would deliver it to you and then just allow it to come into the physical form. That can come by signs. Like you could literally be scrolling through... Um, Instagram and all of a sudden this post just pops up and you're like oh my god and then you look at that and then you find out more information or you could be driving and all of a sudden on the radio something comes on that gives you like it could be like oh there's a Reiki seminar on this weekend and you'll be like oh I should go and check it out it's like your your emotional your um, um what's the word your emotions are the perfect indication of how close you are to your manifestation. So if you're like in despair and fear and not feeling good, you're so far away from being able to be receptive to the help that is trying to come through to you. Um, and in that case, you need to definitely book a reading. But if you are more intuitive and you can hear signs um, and you know, you're doing your self-love practices, the universe is sending you these signs around you so it can help you like it's bringing you everything that you possibly need to release this blockage whatever this situation is with the heart chakra so i had two cards say the same thing so i'm definitely on the right path and in saying that gemini is like split personality so it's like the two the two different sides of the spectrum spectrum I wonder what's going on for you guys. All right, 
Let's move on to the numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan. Angels, can we have clarity for my MK Love fam? Four, notice the signs, heart chakra, position, and second opinion. That was quick. Creativity. Okay, this is a beautiful card because it's saying that a way that you can see love and release this um, blockage is by doing something that is creative because creativity makes you feel amazing. You don't, like, if you're an artist, you paint and it brings you joy and you just get into the flow. Um, if you follow my friend Jo from the moon underscore journal on Instagram, holy flip, her work is so beautiful. And she just recently has started channeling her creativity, which I am so super proud of her for doing. And her blockages are just like opening up and all of a sudden all these orders are coming in for her shop. And it's just so beautiful. Jo, I hope you don't mind me sharing this with you. <laughs> um, this card could also mean like, what did you used to do when you were a child, like creative wise, that you haven't done for a while? Because when you tap into that that energy of a child, it's like pure positive energy. Um, it instantly brings you joy and happiness. So for me, that could be like, I love singing and dancing. That's why I do that as much as I possibly can. What else do I love doing? I used to write songs on the guitar and sing them. That's how I would release the blockages. That's how I creatively used to do that, especially when I was in a really toxic relationship. Wrote a bloody good song. I just, I don't have a guitar anymore, so I don't even know how it goes. How does that song go? I don't even know, it was really good. Um, first song I finished. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what does creativity mean for you? Because the angels are saying, like, have you been getting signs for creativity that it's like, okay, I've been getting a lot of signs recently because I really love, would love to, okay, here's my dilemma. I really haven't found a cup, like a teacup that I've, that I love since I got one handmade when I was in Greece and then it accidentally got smashed and my mom glued it back together, but it like, it's not the same. And I haven't been able to find one like that. And I was like, well, I should just make my own. I have no idea how to do that. Um, but yeah, what does this mean for you guys? I'm so excited. The angels are saying like, when you get into that vibration of creativity, you can't be pissed off at the world and depressed and have fear and anxiety if you're doing the things you love. So the angels are saying, please do more of this because then we can bring you the signs and then you can start listening to the guidance so you can start making different cha um, choices. Um, because if you're doing the same things you've always done, you're always going to get the same results. That's why the angels are saying, okay, so we need to look at this from a different perspective. And I'm trying to get you to listen to the signs, but you're not in the right vibration. So do something creative, have a dance party, bake a cake. I don't know, whatever floats your boat, you need to do more of that. Let's get another card. This is great. I love this ring. Wow, that was super quick. Moderation. I hate moderation. What the heck is moderation? I, I really, okay. I, when I think of moderation, I think of food. It's like everything in moderation. I'm like, no, do not eat animals. That's my blockage. So just raising from that one. 14. I don't like that. I instantly be like, what the hell? Okay. Let me just read what it says. This card indicates a need to exercise restraint and self-control in every area of your life. What? Perhaps you're overeating, drinking too much alcohol, smoking, over-medicating or taking drugs, overspending. Oh gosh, there's a whole flipping list. Consuming too much sugar or coffee, gambling or otherwise overindulgent or engaging in obsessive or aggressive behavior. Oh my goodness. If so, this card is a gentle and loving reminder that besides such as these can delay the manifestations to your dream. I don't like the word moderation. Michelle, change it. I need to make my own oracle deck. Um, I don't like that one. I don't think that, I think it should say obsessive or like overindulgent. I don't think moderation is the right, right word. I need to be really quick because I'm really busting to go to the toilet. This has never happened at a reading before. Um, so it's just basically, oh, it should say balance. Can I cross that out? I'm going to cross that out. Hold on. 
I don't like that. I'm going to put balance. This card is about finding your balance. I don't, yeah. Moderation is such a terrible word. I need to design my own deck. Yeah, I know. Because I don't like it. All right. Let's get the Angel Tarot from Darren Virtue, okay? So let's just quickly summarize where we're at. Notice the signs, heart chakra, second opinion, change positions, creativity, and balance. You need to find that balance, guys. So when you find balance, your whole chakras are in alignment, you're doing your self-love practices, you're like, I love my body, I love my skin, I am a goddess, I am a queen, I love my body. Oh God, <clears throat> that's pretty high, Jess. we strive for isn't it balance still working that out <laughs> oh, okay I love my buddy. Oh, this... right thanks so much for flying out I couldn't find you oh a celebration oh, what's that song oh, I don't like that one um, I'm thinking of a Catholic song. I was raised going to church. Um, and I don't want to sing that song. Oh, see so if you go. Celebrate good times. Come on. Da, 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 da. Wow. A celebration, a wedding, a graduation or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. Which is the creativity card. So this is kind of like reconfirming that we're on the right path. I'm on the right track, baby, I was born this way. So it's like, yeah, do more of your self-love practices and that creativity, and that's how you're gonna find your balance. I can't believe I just crossed out on that card. Jeez. Who's getting married, huh? Celebration, it's like a job well done. I feel like you need to celebrate yourself more often and not wait for someone to go, oh my God, you did such a good job. It's like, I love to celebrate myself every single day by doing my self-love practices. Like if you watch my Insta stories from, what day am I filming this? Saturday. So from Friday, which you wouldn't have seen by now because it's now Sunday, um, or even later if you're watching further on. Um, I showed you my self-love practices and what I was doing before I set up to film. I was making a chai tea on the stove. I made um, a chocolate chia pudding with strawberries and I was singing in my car the whole morning. I've got to be quick. I'm so busting. Oh my God. This is, this has never happened. I don't want to pause it in case I lose my flow. <gasps> ah, one more card angels. Can you make this quick? Thank you. Ah, missing an opportunity. Okay, I think some of you are missing an opportunity. I have to stop it. Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh. All right, so this card is saying that we're missing an opportunity. Can you see all of these like cups underneath here? It's like, it's like, that's why the angels are saying that you need to find your balance because you're either too focused on something that is not going right for you because they're saying you need a second opinion, change positions, basically look at things from a different perspective because you are missing some of these signs that are super duper important and the angels are like, come on, do your self-love practices so you can be in the right vibration to receive all of the abundance that is around you. Like abundance comes in so many different forms and you know, it's, there is so much beauty out there. It's just that you need to be in the right vibration to see it. And the angels are like, keep your head up. I don't feel like we've got to the end yet. Even though we've got two, four, six, eight cards, let's do another one. Can we get like a conclusion, please? Right. This is a very unconventional reading, I feel. 
clearly because I need to go to the toilet halfway through. Just so random. <laughs> it's about going with the flow, guys. <laughs> okay, that one. Thank you. And maybe that one. Okay. Oh, we got, I pulled heaps. Don't give up. Ah. Oh. Yes. It's like you have all, like the, all the ingredients are like right for your success. Like you have a dragon behind you protecting you. It says, don't give up, protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Okay, so some of you are doubting yourself, which is probably why when you're doubting, you're in that fear zone, which is why the angels are saying that you need to notice the signs and why you're missing so many opportunities. But then at the same time, they're saying celebrate. But then as celebrate is in like the need to have fun. I don't think that's a good word either. The need to have more fun. Let me read this card and see if we can get more clarity. Nine of fire. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Positive thinking is essential right now. Your own obsessive negative thoughts and your true are your true culprits behind the trouble you fear. Release your guilt and realize that regret is a wasted emotion. Turn your attention to the amazing possibilities for the future and leave the past behind. If you're leaving unpleasant, if you're having unpleasant dreams at this time, write them in a journal, bless them for your desire to inform you and then send them to the angels. If depression is an issue, encourage those affected to seek professional counseling, which is the second opinion card. Oh, that's sad. Additional meaning, sleeplessness, racing thoughts, which is what I'm feeling, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, worry, stress-related illness. That's where the physician cards come up. And then I had one more card after that. Ah. Major Arcana. Sunflowers, my favorite flowers in the whole wide world. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, have confidence in yourself. Okay, I'll just stop there because there was two cards that said the same thing. Yeah, this one said, believe in yourself, believe in yourself. So what I'm getting from this is that some of you are, don't have the self-love kind of muscle that is infiltrating into every area of your life, which in turn is creating either illness and disease in the mind with like self-sabotaging thoughts or self-sabotaging behaviors. And the angels are like, good Lord, we can't send you the signs because, which is why you're missing all of these opportunities because you are not vibrating on the frequency of love. And the way that you can do that is by doing your self-love practices. Your creativity is what is going to like propel you forward during this time. Um, yeah, you guys need to listen to my heart chakra. If you guys I, um, are like completely new to listening to your intuition, you need to book yourself a private spiritual reading. It's perfect timing for you because it is 33% off at the moment. If you already can like attune to your intuition, then the angels are saying, then just up the self-love practices, do the things that you love. Um, yeah. Let me just, well, we finished on a major arcana, so it doesn't get better than that. It just says, okay, they're basically saying there's a couple of blockages, we need to work through them, don't let fear and overwhelmment and doubt come into it because you are amazing. You have literally forgotten how amazing you are, which is like when I just want to be like, are you kidding me? Like, how do you not know how amazing you are? Are you hanging around people that are like low vibrational people that are literally bringing you down? Or are you hanging around people that are raising you up, making you feel amazing? If you don't have those people around you, then you need to start surrounding yourself with those people. Like as the saying goes, you are who you socialize with. You are the five people that you socialize with the most. Socialize in the fact like watching YouTube channels. I watch only high vibrational channels. I only listen to high vibrational music. 
Um, and when I experience that contrast, I say, thank you universe for showing me the contrast. You've shown me what I don't want. And then in turn, you've helped me refine what I do want so I can clean up my vibration by doing my self love practices. So then I'm on the right track so I can see the opportunities that are around me. I kind of feel like I'm getting frustrated with you. It's like, it's like, I feel like you've just had a little lapse. You know, but it, it's okay. You can find your balance again. You just say, I am where I am and it's okay. I am where I am and it's enough. I'm amazing. I'm fabulous. I'm creative. And I'm going to do my self-love practices every single day so I can vibrate in the frequency of love and hear all the signs. Oh my God, my throat is so sore from talking. All right, let's do a quick recap. If you want a screenshot, then do that. Notice the signs. Heart chakra. Second opinion change positions, creativity, balance, <laughs> you're missing an opportunity, you need to find more joy in your life, believe in yourself, everything is right for your success and when you do that you will have a beautiful positive outcome. Well my loves, holy flipping heck, crazy reading, that was one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Wow. We haven't done ten. I don't know if we've done that ever. Uh, yeah. Comment below. Let me know what has come up for you. Where do you feel your blockages are? If you have no idea, then you probably need to book yourself a reading. And yeah. If you have blockages around forgiveness, then I highly recommend you download my Forgiveness Heals Guide of Visualization. All the links to everything I've spoken about is in the description. Oh, well, my loves. Crazy energies, huh? I kind of feel a bit like I need, I feel like I should say more, but I feel like that's it. There's weird energies at the moment. I am filming in um, the, full, the new moon in Pisces energies. No, not Pisces, Scorpio. Anyways, I don't really have much else to say. I love you. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already joined the MK Love fam. Comment below, let me know what came up for you. And we'll talk in the comments. All right, I love you guys. And I will see you on Wednesday for Q&A Tea Time.